guys tyson anderson mr hammerdown back with another segment listen guys i figured i would come on today right one because it's raining outside and i couldn't go outside to do this i wanted to try and uh do this outside because you know an outdoor segment deserves an outdoor uh broadcasts or recording, right? But I want to dive right into this thing, right? Because I think it's needed for those that are yet pioneering, trying to get to that place, as well as those that are there and they may have hit a type of roadblock along the way. Um, I won't be before you too long, but Excuse me, I do want to say a couple things about the title at hand being above all things, be original. Above all things, be original. Um, I can honestly say over the last 12, 13 years of my breeding program, uh, ever evolving and just constantly changing and trying to uh, figure out what would best fit where and with what at what time and so forth and so forth. Um, I've always tried to look at what's been, you know, uh, tried to foresee maybe what's to come possibly, um, and, uh, and, and, and what is, you know, past, present, and future. I've always tried to look at it through those three scopes of life and, uh, through those, through those three, uh, lenses, uh, so to say, I can't say it's always been easy. As a matter of fact, it's never been easy. Um, it's like the hill has always been hard to climb, but, uh, I'm a, I'm a, younger uh, male of a, a cultured background to, to keep it professional. Um, that's from the South, you know? Um, so it's, it's, it's always been harder to place my hands upon the type of material that others can so easily grasp and place their hands upon. So for me, you know, it's, it's, it's like, do I follow the guys that have done it before me? And maybe right now they're, they're stuck. They don't know where to go, which way or direction to go. So I said, you know, everybody likes dogs and everyone loves to talk about them. Let's start just talking dogs. So I started just talking dogs, which uh, if you guys will follow and, and you look at on Facebook, uh, we started back in 2018. And uh, for the reasons that we stated, if you follow the videos, uh, we obtained a, a huge followership with that. Um, it's since then, uh, I, I tapered off and left it alone. I think several other guys out there, uh, I guess Beaglers, one guy I guess is a Beagler, you know, was a bigler and uh tried to go and and and, and follow our um uh, originality and uh and I, I i figured that okay well 
people are going to do that all together, right? They're going to constantly try and, and, and do whatever it is that you're doing. But that didn't bother me. That didn't bother me at all. Um, in seeing people go out and, and, and try to make their own name under the shadow of someone else, that bothered me. Not uh, the actions that took place, but I don't want to get hung up on that. What I want to say is this. If something is working, it's, it's not that you're trying to reinvent the wheel. It's just you're trying to make that wheel fit your car. And uh, if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You have to do something different. But if you can jump in the same vehicle and that person decides to no, uh, desires to no longer or decides, excuse me, to no longer drive, you get in. The only thing you do is just add new tires, same tires, put new tires on there and, and keep the wheels turning. I say that to say this. If you're finding a breeding and you're looking at it as how in the world am I going to find exactly what it is I'm supposed to be running? What is it exactly I'm supposed to be uh, breeding or, or combining or trying to find the match of? Only you can find that by spending time with your dogs in the woods, um, socializing with the with that dog, with those lines of dogs traveling all over the place. I mean, I don't want to continue to sound repetitious, but we've said this time after time again. And I think you finding your own way is so paramount. It's going to save you so much money. You're going to spend some money too because you got to figure out this thing, right? You have to figure out what it is that you want to do. You have to figure out how you want them built. You have to figure out how you want their bites. You have to figure out their paws, their legs, their colorations. You have to figure all of these things out. And in doing that, you're original. Even if you see someone else over here to the left doing something very similar and you see somebody over here to the right doing something very similar, you figure out what your niche is and how you can solidify that niche and call it your own. Now, Mr. John O'Truber, a great friend of mine, has already said it like this, that you're just a caretaker of that bloodline, of that niche. That's true. But you can take on others' bloodlines, others' families of dogs, and you can not call it your own, but niche it as your own. Still being a, a trifold caretaker or caretaker of three different parts uh, of, a, of a dual, uh, 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 you know, a caregiver or whatever, maybe of two lines or, or a, a quadruple, whatever you want to do. And I just believe that you'll appreciate it. This is where I really wanted to go. You'll appreciate the efforts that you made that you made to go into your breeding, right? Excuse me, a whole lot more than if you bought this and you bought that and you got this over here and you bought this over here and you bred this to this dog because this person said so and you got this dog and you person it. See, when you really put the time in and you get a chance to travel all over the country extensively and look at these dogs run, watch these dogs, evaluate them, see exactly how they fit you and what it is you're trying to do, and then you bring them back into your camp and, and you're able to see, uh, well, how do I want to, how do I want to better my breeding? How do I want to, you know, uh, uh, put this male to this female over here? And then five generations down the line, I've already got it mapped out that if this hits over here and cross one, okay, check, I'm going to go to this cross over here. Uh, check and then just cross to this over here check if the bites and the size and the colors and the this and the running and the mouth and the this and the backtracking isn't there and the extra bar check check and you stay original but you still stay within the com constraints or the confinements and the parameters of proper breeding I I'm no I I'm no geneticist right I don't have 20 years in this thing as far as in, in just genetics, right? I'm not I'm not a, a brother Elvin Price. That's a great friend of mine. Shout out to brother Elvin Price. He's a great, great man. And he's a beagler, but he's not one that's looking to have 100 dogs. He knows what he knows about genetics, human genetics, and we've began to compare those uh, studies to that of, of dogs, and, and he's even did some studies on that of dogs. I have done some studies of that of dogs. And uh, we have came together and sort of iron sharpened iron. We have tried to uh, better one another's uh, uh, output and outlook on this whole breeding thing, right? And does anybody figure it out uh, 
entirely? Is has anybody uh, smoothed out all the, the rough edges entirely? No, they haven't. I, I can name several beetlers that you know have huge Facebook followings and stuff and whatnot. Uh, all, of course, or a few, of course, have pivoted out of you know the just talking dogs that we launched uh, back in, in eighteen, as we mentioned. But um, that doesn't bother me because some of these guys have put the time in. Now, where they are right now, they may not be respectable because of the things that they're breeding now. But what matters is, what matters is, what matters is the originality. Have they stayed original to the first beat of the drum? And I think at some time or another, we all have to change it up a little bit. We all have to go to the left or to the right a little bit because you can't continue to breed the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You know, uh, as they've said, if you continue to do the same uh, uh, a problem or equation and you think that you're going to get a di different outcome, that is an insanity. And I think at some time you have to reapply yourself in a different manner. You have to change the variables and change uh, the defiances, the defiances of mathematics and sciences, and this and that, and so forth and so forth, and uh, physical applications in order to get a different outcome, to perceive that of a different perspective. That's the only way it's going to happen is if you go into it and say, you know what, I want to take it a little step further. I want to go a little bit higher. I want to dig a little deeper and I want to see if I can uh, be so original, not that I throw away the whole wash tub, but that I just change the soap, the soap, you know, we've been, we've been bathing with lye soap the whole time. I want to put some joy in there. I want to put some, some Ajax in there. You know, I want, I want to uh, put everything some Tide. I want to see some pomolov or however, you know, we want to see something different. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So I can tell you this, uh, when it came to the socket to me, I'll give you a prime example and I'll let you go. When it came to the Taylor socket to me crossed over in the Grampy, I didn't know of anybody that did that. I remember a person did um, the, the Shabali Nick dog, which I think was a grandson of New York Nick or a son, back to my old Hatfield sing along Katie dog which is my original pride dog's mother, excuse me. And the, the way that they applied, excuse me, the way that they applied that wasn't my, my way of doing it, of course, because that was their way of doing it. And I, I decided to go more so of a pure grampy dog, pure back over into my pride female, which was, was pretty much the pure soccer to me you're going to get. And, and out of that, getting a litter of puppies and then taking those Grampy socket to me dogs over into uh, into the Birch Lake strain. Uh, I was the first to do that. Um, nobody else, and and anything else that you see, I think one guy of of this same litter has taken one of the litter mates to my Anderson's Pretty Girl Rock female, which uh, I believe is going to be uh, Ragsdale socket to me blue girl. She was originally sold as uh, Anderson's uh, American Woman. She's a blue tick, you know, the truck of the black and tan, black tan and white dog, I guess you can say. She raised here, um, got her started there, and um, uh, she ended up leaving us uh, in, uh, in a swift transition, let's, let's leave it at that. And uh, she was bred, uh, from, from my belief, to uh, uh, national large pack champion, field champion, Riverland Hercules, uh, the Birch Lake line was our original idea. Um, I, I originally took uh, Anderson's Pretty Girl Rock and I bred her last year, one of uh, Birch Lake Pretty Boys, Field Champion Birch Lake Pretty Boy uh, Two's last breedings was th of that back to uh, our female, uh, Grampy uh, Sakatumi female, which has never been done. Now, Grampy and Birch Lake was, was done, obviously, to make Hercules and Hector, but it's never been bred to... Uh, the Birch Lake has never been bred, bred to the Grampy Sakatumi Blend that was started by Tyson Anderson. Yours truly, Mr. Hammerdown. Um, and I don't say that cocky. I don't say that uh, conceitedly. Um, I, I say that with pride in knowing that I'm the original breeder of that. Um, that can't be duplicated. It can only be followed. It can only be shadowed. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that to throw shade. I'm saying that because I want to give an example or be an example that if you see anything that comes remotely close to what I, it is that I'm doing, I am the originator. I did it. It started here in North Carolina. And if anybody else was to carry on and do it like 
that it came from here originally. I'm saying that because when you go out here and you make your crosses, you may make a cross that you think didn't work and you get rid of them young. And then they go on to make superstars. And that wasn't the case for us, but let's say that happens to you, okay? If I can't tell you how not to, or if I can't tell you how to succeed, I can definitely tell you how not to fail because I've been everything under the sun. I've done everything under the sun to cause Tyson, to cause Mr. Hammer down, that's right, not to succeed. And I've, I've tasted the many uh, fruits of dissatisfaction and a failure, and I did all that being original. But I can stand firmly now and say I'm enjoying the fruit of my labor, uh, good, bad, and ugly, because I was I stayed true to what it was that I wanted to do in that time. And now you have to transmogrify. That means you have to turn out of that old mold and you have to go into this new husk and you have to do something different. You have to better or beautify the ashes. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't have but ashes, that's more than enough. That's more than enough. That's all you need is ashes. One person's trash is another person's treasure. You've heard the saying. I don't want to be cliche. But stay original and remain original. Because if you do that, if you get your own mind and say, you know what? I think I want to do it like this. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Stick to that if that's what you want to do. Stick to it. But do it in the in the form of this is my idea. This is what I want to do. Nobody's going to take this from me. 20 years from now, I can look back and say, you know what? I did that. I did it. That's the most beautiful thing in the world. Guys, I want you. To, I want to leave with you that because that's the greatest talent God gave any of us was the beauty of being ourselves, was the beauty of thinking like only we can think. Nobody can take that from you. doesn't matter what they do. doesn't matter what they say. No one can take that from you. Remain humble in your originality. Keep your best foot forward. Hope for the best, but always look for the worst. Trust only those that God places in your path because you will be surprised what man and when man will forsake you for a piece of bread. Tyson Anderson, Mr. Hammerdown, I'll see you when I see you. Almost forgot, folks. The reason that nobody else will share this information with you is for one reason and one reason only. Why is that? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Because of the simple fact, knowledge is power. The Bible says that my people perish for a lack of knowledge. If you don't have this ammunition when it comes to betterment, guess what? The caliber of trial dogs that's going to be trialed in the trials, they're not going to be at the peak of their performance. Why? You got it. Because people aren't doing what I'm talking about. They're not doing it. So you're robbing, as my buddy just said to me as I got on the phone with him, you are robbing that bloodline from the maximum capacity of potential it may be able to put out by not staying original, by not being original. Above all things, be not a follower, be a leader, and be 